السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Right of work. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, say, take action. Allah will see your actions as will his messenger and the believers. And then you will be returned to him who knows what is seen and unseen. And he will tell you what you have been doing. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Work is a necessity of life, as it is the means to develop our world, advance nations, and bring about stability in societies. Our religion has urged us to perfect our work. The Almighty Allah said, Believers, when the call to prayer is made on the day of Friday, hurry towards the reminder of Allah and leave off your trading. That is better for you. If only you know if only you knew then when the prayer has ended disperse in the land and seek out Allah's bounty remember Allah often so that you may prosper the Almighty Allah also said it is he who has made the earth manageable for you travel its regions eat his provision and to him you will be resurrected the prophet peace be upon him the best earning the prophet peace be upon him said the best earning is man's work with his hand and every transaction which is free from cheating or deception the prophet peace be upon him also said it is better for any one of you to carry a bundle of wood on his back and sell it than to beg of someone whether he gives him or refuses. The Almighty Allah says in, in the Quran, in whatever matter you profit may be engaged in whatever part of the Quran you are reciting. Whatever work you people are doing, we witness you when you are engaged in it, not even the weight of a speck of dust in the earth or sky escapes your Lord, nor anything lesser or greater. It is all written in a clear record. The Almighty Allah also says, Say, take action. Allah will see your actions, as will His Messenger and the believers. And then you will be returned to Him, who knows what is seen and unseen. And He will tell you what you have been doing. Allah also says in Allah is always watching over you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah loves someone who, when works, he performs it in perfect manner. As for the negligence of work, it is a sin and an act of disobedience to Allah and his messenger, and a betrayal of one's trusts. It is a means to destroy nations and waste energies and wealth of the country therefore it is necessary to fight and confront it the almighty allah said believers do not betray allah and the messenger or knowingly betray other people's trust in you the prophet peace be upon him said the likeness of the man who observes the limits prescribed by allah and that of the man who transgresses them is like the people who get on board a ship after casting lots, some of them are in, in its lower deck and some of them in its upper deck. Those who are in its lower deck, when they require water, go to the occupants of the upper deck and say to them, If you make a hole in the bottom of the, of the ship, we shall not harm you. If they, the occupants of the upper deck, leave them to carry out their design, they all will be drowned. But if they do not let them go ahead with their plan, all of them will remain safe. It is a duty to preserve the, the public properties, as it is the pillar of the nation by which it manages its affairs, establishes its institutions, 
preserves its land, provides its services, and advances its members. This is why preserving wealth is one of the six major principles of the Sharia. The public wealth is as inviolable as the private wealth. It is forbidden to misappropriate it. The Almighty Allah said, It is inconceivable that a prophet would ever dishonestly take something from the battle gains. Anyone who does so will carry it with him on the day of resurrection. When each soul will be fully repaid for what, has, what it has done, no one will be wronged. Allah also said, You will believe. Do not wrongfully consume each other's wealth, but trade by mutual consent. Do not kill each other, for Allah is merciful to you. If anyone, if any of you does these things out of hostility and injustice, we shall make him suffer fire. That is easy for Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Some people misappropriate, acquire wrongfully Allah's property, meaning Muslims' property. These people will be cast in hell on the day of resurrection. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. It is the right of work to achieve the public benefit of society away from the selfishness and negativity and from all forms of corruption including bribery, nepotism, fraud, non-fulfillment of the right to work and other wicked diseases. The Almighty Allah say, the Almighty Allah says, Allah does not like corruption. Allah the Most High also says, and do not cause corruption in the land. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Flesh which has grown out of what is unlawful will not enter paradise, but hell is more fitting for all flesh which has grown out of what is unlawful. In addition, whoever takes or receives a wage, will be held accountable for fulfilling the right to work and he must perform the work in full and undiminished. We ask Allah to protect our country Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.